All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do anytime you get a brand new rifle scope is set the diopter. Now the diopter is this piece right at the back closest to your eye. Now, it works a little bit differently for low power variables. We're talking one to fours, one to six, one to eights, etc., uh, versus something with a high power variable that starts on a power other than one. But in the end, uh, both of them are highly important to do right away before you even start messing with anything else like turrets or magnification and things like that. So essentially, let's start with a, a high power variable, if you will. When we're adjusting our diopter, what we're actually doing is we're adjusting our eyes focus to the reticle. Now, a lot of people grab this and they start moving it around thinking they're actually focusing their image, but that's not the case at all. All this diopter does is focus our eye to the reticle. Now, if you really wanna see what it's doing, if you really crank this thing out or, or move it all the way into an extreme, you'll notice that the reticle starts to get pretty blurry. Everybody's eye is different, so everybody will have a slightly different diopter setting, but uh, usually it'll be somewhere right in the middle here. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your rifle scope and in this case point it at something like a blue sky not right at the sun or a nice plain white wall and bring the rifle scope up to your eye and make subtle adjustments to the diopter in or out until the reticle is perfectly crisp now one thing also that people do is they stare through the rifle scope the whole time they're making their adjustments it's important to actually let your eye rest so look through the rifle scope, adjust the diopter slightly, and then take it away to let your eye rest and bring it back. One thing our eyes can do is they're pretty incredible. They can actually fix a blurry reticle and make it look clear, but it strains them quite a bit. So you wanna make sure that you're actually getting a clear reticle when your eye is in a rested position rather than straining, because if you, tr if you get it where it's right when your eye is straining, you'll start perceiving that eye strain on the range and you'll start to get a headache or, your, or eye fatigue. Now it's a little bit different for things like a 1 to 6, 1 to 8, 1 to 4 because actually in this case you are messing with the image a little bit. Now some people get a scope like this and they put it on one power and they say uh, it looks kind of like I'm getting a fishbowl or a bubble effect because the edges look all warped and it doesn't actually look like a true 1x. Well the diopter is arguably the most important piece to the puzzle for getting a true 1x image on a 1 to something scope. See, what we're doing now is where we would have adjusted the diopter on a high power variable scope, probably at its highest magnification, now we want to actually adjust it on the lowest one power magnification for these scopes and adjust the diopter until we get a flat image. We should also at that point be getting a nice crisp reticle too. And again, everybody's eyes may be slightly different, but what we really want is that nice flat 1x image. And you'll see it again as you start to move it to the very extremes if you want to experiment. The more and more extreme you get in away from your eyes proper setting, the more you'll start to see a bubble or a fisheye effect on that 1x image. So get that just right. Again, your eyes can do some of the fixing for you. So you wanna make sure you're actually looking away and then glancing back down the rifle scope and not giving your eyes enough time to correct the issue for you and thus um, you know, put some more strain on your eyes. But once you get that set, both high power and with these low power variables, it should be the case that once they're properly set, you shouldn't have to mess with them again unless it accidentally gets bumped or somebody else uses your rifle scope. So it's a set it and forget it procedure. First thing you should do, and then go on to the rest of your rifle scope as you set it up. Hopefully this helps, and if you have any other questions, definitely feel free to let us know because we're always happy to help out further. Thanks for watching.